Hi guys, welcome to the new video. If you are a new subscriber, I upload everyday video. Today I wanna break it down for you the best movie ever made, the best movie on YouTube, Detective, my movie <laughs> that I create. I wanna talk about of process of making this movie, what technique I use basically, where I make mistakes and what I wanted to do but I don't have a budget. So as you can see, I am on the side, I'm gonna just play for you right away, bam. And right away I wanna talk, this is just my footage, okay? And I just add, as you can see, some smoke effect and some rain particles free on YouTube, yes? And this music that you hear, shut up, video. I don't launch for free basically on YouTube, I just tap sad piano music or whatever. It's free from copyrights, yes? And as you can see, I got some stupid effect, yes, on my video. And those particles I download for free from YouTube too. And to be honest, I wanted to do basically right here some fire, yes, effect from the gun, but I don't have time <laughs> to. I, I basically just created like this, yes. Okay, it will be better with some effect. Right here, this footage I download from YouTube too. It's for free blood kind of effect. And I just change, of course, the background, yes, add some uh, stupid color grading, yes, like it's normal. Then I just brighten up this smoke background, yes. And once again, particles, I just add this text. And I think this text is cool effect. Look how it's disappearing. <laughs> the best director ever. This is once again my footage, yes, in green screen I just add some snow particles and as you can see smoke and those particles are still going on. Like I said, it will be better to add some right here, some fire effect, but whatever. Right here I make a first mistake and trust me guys, in this movie there are fucking hundreds of mistakes. Look at this edit. Now I'm shooting, blah, blah, blah. And right here, you can see the change is not correctly done. Look at the smoke, it's like, bam, disappearing and give different kind of smoke. I know it looks like shit, I just add right here. I have some, in Vegas, some plugins, okay, that I can add virtual light, basically, yes, spotlight. I just add right here some spotlight to give this kind of film newer effect. And basically what I wanted to do, I want to hire some actors, yes, but this is fucking zero budget. And I asked some friends, you know, like, do you want to be in movie? And they are like, no, fuck you. <laughs> Seriously. So no one want to be in movie with me. So basically I just write a story for me, if that makes sense. Yes, but <coughs> As you can see, this is once again me and green screen stuff and right here the smoke and of course, I added this snow particles and the text, yes. And this text doesn't disappear because I don't have time to create this <laughs> disappearing kind of effect. It was... Okay, shut the fuck up, the best actor ever. This is the best actor ever, okay? I love this guy. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the technique, basically. And I use this technique through all the movie. This is image, okay, they are rendering Blender, and this is just plain, as you can see, yes? I add some stupid flowers and desk, whatever, and basically, I place the light uh, to create this image to give me more shadows, because first, when I add those fucking 3D models, there are no shadows, and it was flat as hell. So basically, I just move the light to create those kind of shadows and give this kind of cool look and if you're gonna use this technique, my advice for you, cast the more shadow that basically you can't, you can, and uh, it's gonna give you better results, okay? So this is just one image. Then I place, of course, myself in green screen. And then I just add behind me, once again, this image of the wall. And it's not great, because as you can see, this is separate two images. and. This image doesn't cast shadow on this one, yes? So it's like, whatever. Friday night. But I, I basically use this technique all the time in this movie. I was about to go home from my office. The best movie. Suddenly, <laughs> the phone. <laughs> and 
here I want to stop once again. I just add this light once again from my plugin in Vegas, yes? Boris FX, uh, I forgot how the plugin is named. Basically, I just create this kind of light from this lamp and it's not done correctly as you can see because the light is very thin down and the basically lighting, yes, is up. So it's not done correctly. And once again, I wanna talk a little bit of the script and basically, first I just record the footages Later, I just uh, wrote the script, and this is the wrong way to do this, okay? Because <laughs> basically, now the dialogue that I talk or whatever, yes, the voice acting is not correctly done because I just try to sync in basically the dialogue with the footage, and it's not supposed to be that way. So, always remember to write first a script, later, you basically record yourself on green screen the footage and the dialogue, yes, that you talk basically. And to be honest, I write the script in like yes, a couple hours. This is shit. Detective John Blender. As you can see, the voice acting doesn't sync in with the fucking phone right rings. Here. Hello? Yes. I this try is Detective very hard, but John it Blender. doesn't sync in. Because I talk some shit. I just, you know, sit on the fucking chair and I just talk some stuff that my mouth is moving. Elizabeth. That's the name of the client. And the music in the background. Your sister went up. missing eight days ago. For free from YouTube, yes. She want me to find her. Not a slider shot. I told her I don't take cases like this. Well, this is but mistake. She offered to pay double level. in advance, so <laughs> I agree. Basically, the idea of this movie was like I want to shoot some fucking zombies, okay? <laughs> and later on. I just write this in, like I said, very fast, and I use Google Translation. If I make some mistake in English, sorry, but I just use Google Translation, like I said. And, and basically, the translation doesn't translate well, well if it doesn't make sense, because basically it translates word uh, to word, and it's not supposed to be that way, but whatever. So once I again, the lamp, yes, that I this case this would change everything. And this is awkward. Wasting no time, I decide to go to As you can see, this shot just zoom in and up. Why? Because basically, this footage that I key in had some mistake, so I just cover this mistake. Because another advice, if you want to create some movie, basically remember to check it out if you can key your footage correctly. Because I just key this footage and basically I just zoom in and up to cover the mess that I have right here, okay? Because uh, I have some shadows on my green screen footage when I basically uh, record myself. And the keying was very bad, basically, yes? So always remember to place your light if you wanna render yourself, yes? Record yourself on green screen, I'm sorry. Always remember to place the light that then gonna cast the shadow on your green screen, because and basically this is the gun because it's gonna be hard and I have the problem the whole movie I just have wrong basically key and stuff yes right here some edges is not done correctly so this is the gun that I buy for two dollars let's go it's like toy gun and I just <laughs> put it in the fucking pants because I don't have basically this kind of like to the gun yes that you basically wear whatever zero budget let's go and Right here, there is another mistake. Right here, I'm gonna maybe make a little bit bigger this fucking stuff. She lived 20 miles from me in a small town called Nashville. Let's go. <laughs> the best actor fucking ever. <laughs> and I just basically, I don't smoke to be honest, yes, in real life. So I just ask my fucking mom to basically, yeah, give me this one, you know. <laughs> smoking stuff because I don't smoke and let's go this is another mistake you can see how the background is changing it's not done correctly right here yes so basically it's, it's a mistake fuck I need to quit smoking okay shut up a detective John and right here this shot I want to point out it's bad I know uh, I just walking in the place and you can see this I just walk in the place on my green screen, yes, that I have on my home. Because uh, I don't have much space. So I just walk in place and I just basically add my footage, green screen footage, yes, to the software. 
key in the stuff yes and I just move my footage from this place basically right here and the same technique one image in alpha this is the wall then I just place in my footage yes then I just place in behind me basically the image of the car and on the fucking screen yes and you can see that I'm walking in place basically but I try to move myself it's, that's why I zoom into the car and what I wanted to do basically I render this stuff and this is another technique I render this shot yes like the car is just driving by <laughs> and basically I just zoom into this shot look at this because the wheels are not rotating okay because <laughs> I don't have time basically to rotate the wheels okay this is very fast created and another technique I just render this footage I'm gonna show you once again render this footage and place basically this guy behind this yes so this is just rendering and right here this is behind uh, this stuff so I render this of course in blender and what I wanted to do basically I wanted to I tried to add the spotlight and trust me guys it will be better effect like from the car but my motion tracker doesn't work well basically in Vegas so I can't motion track this so I just okay I'm not gonna add spotlight to the car but it will be better trust me to add some spotlight you know and I render this basically in blender and I don't basically separate this and add ammunition to this it's give very bad result so I just okay I'm gonna render like this and later on I just try like I said to add basically the spotlight and it doesn't work with the motion truck so I just went because the wheels are not rotating to cover the wheels let's go another stuff another technique once again this is the footage that I render and I just place image behind this so this is just fucking image okay and once again the same technique this is just footage of the buildings I use from Blender, Blender Kit 3 of course yes buildings and I just add free from sky effect yes with the fucking moon uh, behind this footage and once again the wheels are not rotating <laughs> the best director ever let's go <laughs> it's no shit this shot is the worst ever Look at this, I just add some bridge, free 3D model, yes? Bridge, and of course the wheels are not rotating, once again, never would, I never rotate the wheels, okay? And this fucking stuff, stuff. And look at this bridge, it not connected to, basically, <laughs> it's floating in the fucking air right here, so it's shit. And once again, the same technique, I just render the shot, and once again, place the sky behind this, yes? And I just add some snow particles for free uh, from YouTube, to cover this mess basically like yeah you have some motion another shot I just don't know like I said this 3d model for free it's very low but low uh, how to say megabytes yes that render doesn't take forever because I have very bullshit to see then I place the basically water and the water is not moving <laughs> so this is another mistake that I make and in the next episode I'm gonna try to basically do the motion of the water because it's gonna be better of course the city i download for free it's low megabytes you can see the detail and of course i cover some snow particles to have some motion and once again this is the footage with the city and put once again behind the sky effect i always do this yes put the sky and this is another mistake basically look at this footage and now it speeds up you can see the choppiness because i basically slow down this footage because I render this and it's have like two seconds or three seconds so I must slow down this and I'm gonna say right away this is another mistake I just place some stupid you know image background right here but right here this street is basically at the end so it's not correctly done too this is just 3d model and the texture is not looking great because it's free basically with the animated cars I just download this it's uh, for free and I just put my car right here yes and just from this to this place and like I said I just slow down this because I have like I don't know 200 frames yes of images so I just have like I said three four seconds and I just slow this down a bit more and I think this is the best shot from this fucking whole stuff basically it's good lighting okay right here once again the same technique I just add right here some fence Basically, I just add some plane, subdivide the plane in Blender, 
I just add wireframe right here effect. I just add metal material and this is the asphalt. This is basically, this is very good shot in my opinion. The best shot from this stuff, <laughs> from this bullshit stuff. Once again, the same technique, the car is moving, not rotating the wheels and sky behind and some snow particles. And you can see even like the snow, it's not right here, the shadows of the snow. So it's not, it's not done correctly. Yes, once again. Once again, the same stuff myself. Then I just uh, put the images behind this beam. Okay, right here, I'm gonna show you. <coughs> this is the best job in my opinion, because the lighting is good, done correctly. Okay, this is just me and I render this in Blender, okay? So it's not in Vegas. I just put myself, import images as planes, yes? Myself, I just uh, in green screen alpha footage and I just add the car and I just lighten this up to head the reflection and I just place the camera to the reflection. It's like fancy kind of bullshit <laughs> shot, yes. And later on, I just add the snow particles in the Vegas. Yes. And this is like, yeah, I wanna smoke, but of course at the end I'm gonna smoke. Once again, I write this script very fast, okay? Uh, it's shit. <laughs> yeah. And another problem that I have, basically I have, like I said, piece of fucking green screen. So I can walk basically two, three steps and it's end of the shot, yes? So you can see basically the camera is zooming in because I just move it in place or maybe I just had one step right here. One, two steps, yes, and it's done. And right here too, I just record myself just walking, you know, in back and two, three steps and it's done because I don't have place in green screen yet, so it's not done correctly. And once again, snow particles and the same technique myself and put some image behind it and I... do the slider shot. Once again, I just talk some bullshit stuff and I just try to sync in the dialogue. I am Detective John. So I record this. <laughs> That's correct. I just you slow down myself right here. You Detective can even see John. the movement. Look at You me. call me half an hour ago. It's not correctly done. Can I come in? So I just say something different basically right here. I just record myself first and this is the common mistake that I make, the best mistake that I make, the huge mistake that I make. I record myself first, then I write the script. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. But basically I watched some documentary about Miyazaki and it works in animation, but it doesn't work basically right here uh, when you want to render uh do the live action because you must know what are you saying basically and i just record myself and and you know i was thinking i'm gonna add some you know voice over yes or whatever but later on i figure out like yeah i i need to add the dialogue or whatever so it's like ah. and once again i just use this light plugin yes i can add some light spotlight right here to the footage to add this kind of film your style and I just, like I said, I am Detective stuff. John. You call me half an hour ago. This is not correctly done. Can I come in? Okay. So what exactly happened? This is correctly done. I just say right here on this stuff, what exactly happened? I just say, can I come in? Right so here. what exactly happened? And I, of course, don't stole this. <laughs> <laughs> I, of course, this don't stole a hair footage from internet. So this is once again the same technique, me in alpha in green screen. Later on, I just, of course, double out this, uh, not for free, uh, hair footages of this woman. Cause no one want to be in the movie with me. It's fucking annoys me. And <laughs> I, I figure out like, I need to must, I must to talk to someone, you know, and this stuff. So I just download some woman basically. Yes. And I saw this footage. And basically the same technique, me in alpha, her in alpha, and put image behind me. Elizabeth told me about her sister, Julia. And I use the same technique, basically, uh, of the camera movement. I just move in the virtual camera, like in sliders, or maybe zoom in, zoom out, yes, to add the motion. So this. what exactly happened? But not in every Elizabeth shot, yes. told me about her sister, Julia, who left the house eight days ago and didn't. Okay, once again, her footage. It's basically the edges are very poorly done because this is low quality footage. And like I said, I didn't stop this. So the edges is not done correctly, right? Come back. 
She was going to some meeting. And I just her so car was found in a park 10 miles from. I just slowed down the footages. Why? Because I don't have much footage of this woman and of me basically because like I said I just render myself I don't know I have like 20 or 30 footages they are record myself and I just try to put the movie basically based on those footages it's not that supposed to be that way so I learned my fucking lesson okay and for her basically I don't like I said have much fo footages so I slow down the motion from here when Elizabeth told me what happened and I reused this footage a couple of times, this kind of stuff that I wrote basically in this notebook. And look at this, notebook is right here open. In detail, and I quickly made a profile of my client. So Attractive, well Okay, shut the fuck up. So basically, once again, her and image behind her. I don't build this 3D scene because I have bullshit PC. And this technique works for me because, like I said, my PC is shit and to be honest, I prefer to basically build a 3D scene, yes, put her basically alpha images, import as planes in Blender and build some 3D scene bot and move around the camera, yes, this 3D camera bot, like I said, my PC is shit and it's rendering gonna take forever, but I have some shots right here and I'm gonna show you that it's done correctly. So I just add, of course, the text and the music that I before. put right here, it's always... Uh, the important thing for me, you know, that where I want to play the music, you know, because maybe you want to play right here in this moment or in this moment, you don't basically play the music the whole time. So it's always hard to figure out for me where I want to play the music. Yes, to add the vibe. So I just wrote this music. Of course, it's the best <laughs> music ever. And it's, it's like it's hard to figure out. And I think the more you're gonna create, the more sense you're gonna have where you're gonna put the music to add the basically vibe, yes. And the idea is like, I am so smart, yes, whatever, <laughs> that I can read people. I get inspired, I love those games, Sherlock Holmes games, okay? And it's always, wanna I wanna create something like this, you know, to be honest. And I wanna took more ideas from this, but I don't have basically budget, yes, from those games. Uh, to add some experiments or whatever so to be honest i want to shoot basically this stuff like zoom in to the character zoom in like in sherlock series too like zoom in maybe to the shore zoom in to the fucking uh, right here to the pants or whatever zoom in to her face to add some detail and to add basically that i am so smart whatever <laughs> this kind of situation you get the idea but i can't do this because i just have couple of footages of this mob and so it's like hard to done yes Since residential area and silver decor hmm. middle class woman most likely working in the office medical industry and as you can see this notebook basically i reuse this footage couple of times i just have closed but previously i have opened this fucking stuff so i use basically the later footage of this shot if that makes sense couple of times I reused this woman most likely working in the office and the same technique this is image that I put in front of me later on me in green screen and later on the medical in industry or telecom. and like I said if you want to use this technique because it's very good technique my advice for you cast the more shadows that are you there you can basically right here the image yeah it's like sinking to this fucking footage but at the same time, it will be better to add some shadows right here, yes, on this image that you're gonna put behind yourself or whatever, yes, on your footage. So always remember that to build this kind of three-dimensional look like, yeah, this is me in this fucking place. Always remember to add the more detail and some shadows on the background that it's not gonna look fake because it's look fake, but telecommunication, word face right here too, yes. Uh, add more detail to the background, yes, if you're gonna put some image expression the fact that she called it. i just had this stupid stuff and i reused this footage couple of times too police on the day of her sister disappearance and that she hired me of course she cares the same for her shot that I write, basically on the note. no photos with partner open body right here you can see the chappiness too because i slow down the footage because i have like 
uh, of her footage like two seconds she is doing this very fast so i slow down this motion and it's not done correctly no photos with partner open body language no ring on the finger hm. she is a single this is good job. i went to Ju okay another technique once again this is just alpha image i just put the shelf from blender kit free stuff and some pills from blender kit and some microphones this is just one image i render this very fast then put myself in vegas key in my self footage yes that i just walk in and looking around and once again i put behind some image so this is just one another image and i just put some shadow effect on my stuff because i have this plugin once again in vegas i can put shadows on my footage and i can put light on my footage but yeah just room to find some clues besides sleeping pills no photos with once again the same technique this is the car and i, re I reused this image a couple of times i'm gonna show you later this is just alpha image myself and behind me partner and a few and microphones as I've... you can see the snow particles is not done besides right. so sleeping pills look at no photos snow. with partner and a few right microphones here. yes you I can see the nothing. change once again the same technique car <laughs> wheels are not moving correctly it's bad I want to add some spotlight but i can't and basically i put once again this is the rendering footage and later on i add some sky for free from youtube i asked elizabeth to and pay in snow. advance that's why i took this case Fears I, and I, I think this is the one of the best shot in this stuff basically i render the whole stuff in blender so it's done correctly now i just as you can see this is just me and this car okay and i just put myself images as planes of course my alpha images yes that i sit in and i try to basically drive up it's so stupid and like i said important this put myself into the car parent my plane to the car and i just move the car look at this shot i'm not focusing on the wheels because the wheels are not rotating so i just put the camera above the wheels and zoom into the car, zoom into myself, and I just build this 3D scene. So it's done correctly. Look at this. It goes like the bar, camera is moving in 3D scene, if it does make sense. It's not like I just put some Im images, yes? As you can see, you can see barely myself. And I just put some car behind me. It's done simplistly, but this render like takes forever. So I have a couple of shots like uh, done correctly, if that makes sense. Decide to go to the bar. And I want to say right here, I'm going to show you this is just plain Wait, Fears, I right here this is just plain and i add the hair particles and this is like grass or whatever this is three buildings from blender kit of course with some lighting to go to the park <coughs> where julia's car was found i add of course the sound effects for you once again the same technique this is the basically one footage that i render in blender and then i put the sky in Vegas because if I gonna put sky in blender the whole shot would takes I don't know a couple of hours to render so it's like come on so I just put once again without sky and later on I just add the sky and you can see the wheels are not rotating and trust me guys I want to put later on on the edit I was figure out I, I want to put the lights on the car it will be better the reflection but I can't because this motion tracker doesn't work on the small kind of small footages so it's like i can't this i can't do this and this is interesting stuff once again i reuse the same image that right here is yes this is the same image of the car that i basically just went from her home or whatever right here this is the same stuff right here this is the same car this is the same car yes image in alpha then put myself then put another image and put some motion on someone stuff. plan kidnapping and to be the honest kidnapper. this is just one image of me i'm not moving right here this is not footage this is just one image and i saw the anime stuff they use this technique too they basically had one image and did they just animate the mouth or maybe they just zoom and zoom out or make kind of slider shot on the one image and they just narrating over this image so i just you know do the same thing basically i knew that julia would be in this, this is just one i'm not this time in this as you can see it's not she must go out with too. someone why 
because I don't have footage. I don't record myself like moving because I have this footage like I just send them right here, but I just move my hands and it's not <laughs> in this shot good. So I just, okay, I'm gonna use just one image because if I'm gonna use this footage, whole footage, I'm, I'm moving the arms basically and it's not like I'm talking to someone, but I'm right here in the park alone. So it's not this much time. She must go out with someone here. As you can see, the edges is right here is not done correctly because I have some shadows and this is the lesson that I learned basically because I was thinking, yeah, I can key this. I can key this in Blender or whatever, yes. <clears throat> but my lighting was so bad that I put some shadows basically on green screen and later on I can't, I have a couple of shots that I can't basically as you can see, you can see the edge of the fucking green screen and it's not done good, it's wrong, it's shit and it annoys me a little bit. Basically, once again, me, footage, later on, image of the car, later on, sky. Hmm. I use all the time to met partner. And snow particles, of course, for free, yes. My client told me that Julia recently started dating someone, but she Once again, a couple of steps and the end of the fucking shot why because i don't have place my client told me that <laughs> julia recently started dating someone and the same technique the car image and sky and myself yes the same place i just played around on those ideas like this is just me footage myself and maybe i'm gonna play play some image in front of me and behind me and this is this is the technique that i use basically in this stuff yes it's not done. I don't know who the new limit partner was. You can see the edges right here is not done good because it's hard to key the stuff. I try and this is the best result that I came on and it's shit. I have my lesson. Basically, I must first figure out how to place my light basically on green screen. Always remember that. Once again, sky. This is the tree in front of me. Later on, footage alpha, myself. Footage, of course, yes, image in alpha three, footage in me, and once again, sky and image behind me. This is the same technique. I Give this kind of 3D this, yeah. illusion, but it's it's look like it's fake, okay? You can see, yeah, this is fucking fake. I'm not right here in this stuff. But Keep I, not left. This is, the I think, one of the worst shots. Basically, I put cast the shadow right here. I use this plugin, yes, to cut shadow from my footage. The same technique, this is alpha image first, later on myself, and look at this bench, it doesn't cast shadows right here, so it's done wrongly, okay, it's it's not good, it looks like shit, and once again, this image is not good too, I add basically the hair particles right here, and uh, from the plane, and I just try to figure out the light, and it's, the light is not good, once again, the bench should cast shadows, but I just cast shadow and it's like, come on, it's shit. I it's play some scar. tree, of course, yeah. yes, some stupid image with tree and later on. This is he just images. Here with his own. And look at this, right here, another mistake, look at this arm. Scar. Hmm. Right he here, to get my here arm with just gets cut, cut. So, because basically I, my masking is not good too. I was looking for some traces and of look at this. This is the same footage that I in the previous shot. I just have right here the hands yeah, and I the... reuse this once again. I reuse this right here and I put the snow particles to add some basic <laughs> motion to the scene and it's it's shit. This shot is shit too. This is just me and image and once again it's not good image in my opinion. You can see the texture is not good. And right here is done. However, I didn't find anything. Look at the birds. I just found out, yes, for free in YouTube. Some sky. And I rendered this, yes, footage. On the way to my home, I call. And look at the size of the birds. The size of the birds are basically <laughs> big, bigger than my car. Look at Jonathan, this. My car is just driving system. right there. Maybe and they already have a truck. It's like, look at this. This bird is bigger than my car. So this is some kind of monster birds. Let's go. So it's not done good too. Basically, I learned my lesson. Yes, right here. I just put some very fast. Some oh yeah, it's it's look cool, whatever. But later on, I just like 
holy fuck the birds are too big and I don't wanna basically do it again so <laughs> cause I'm lazy man I'm lazy man so it's not done for it this is good shot why? cause I placed myself in 3D scene and I rendered this in Blender you can see the three dimensional and give this kind of cool vibe to this shot in my opinion like it's me once again import images as planes green screen yes uh, key in my green screen and I just built this scene so it's like okay once again I just add some fence car I just light this stuff and it looks good later on I just add the sky once again so hi I Jonathan always add the it's sky. me John I have a request for you and once again I just saying some stupid stuff it doesn't sink in with the dialogue as usual he started whining and cursing he knows well that if I ask him for a favor he will have to bend the law again and I know very well that he will not refuse me. I add some, of course, sound effects of the streets to add more, basically, vibe to this body. I, I think this is the one of the best shots. It gives this kind of Sin City uh, shot, if that makes sense. Because it's done correctly, basically. I just built pretty scene, yes. I'm not using this. Because I saved his life. Twice. Yes. The camera is moving in pretty scene, basically. I asked him if the police has any clue about Julia disappearance because I'm on to be honest it will be better to basically just head in the background some lighten up and basically go in dark some windows this give a little bit like detail and motion to the scene this case it is what it is I also asked him to send a copy of file <laughs> cases to my office in exchange for a beer at Eddie's bar and I just narrated this very slowly. Why? Because I have uh, basically this footage like, I don't know, like 100, no, 1000 frames, yes, 1000 images. So I just basically do this slowly uh, to the whole footage plays out, if it does make sense, yes. The whole shot plays out. After talking to Jonathan, I went home to sleep. And you can hear the microphone, of course, it's shit, because I just record this with this cheap microphone for two dollars, and I just end the recording. And After the talking to Jonathan, right. I went home to sleep. <laughs> to sleep, yes. And this is the worst shots in this whole thing, in my opinion. Uh, I just, this is just myself, and it's not keying right. And one image. And you can see it looks very fake. Why? Because it will be better to place some image in front of me or maybe to cast some more shadows in the background on this image because this looks very fake and the next day I'm gonna show you the mistake right here the key is on the book basically is yes, right here and I just use some guitar lesson book that I have it's so stupid with some notes but as you can see right here focus right here on this place when the files arrived to my office Without see. wasting any time, I start going through them. Right here, you can see the dark places because it's not done correctly. Uh, the keying, because I have the problem basically to keying the stuff. So this is the, I think the important lesson. Always r record the footage that you can key and it's gonna be great. Later on you can work on the stuff because you're gonna have those kind of mistakes like right here, the blackness or the edges. It, it's look like shit. And basically, always remember to add more detail to the background if you're gonna use this technique, those images technique, yes? I start going through them. Okay, shut up, God, man. <laughs> this demony of Ju And this looks a little bit three-dimensional. Why? Because I add smoke first, later myself, and later another smoke. And this is just image that I render in alpha, and I just animate this in Vegas, basically, with virtual camera, like, from here, to here and it's disappearing yes and right here i just add right here too the same image this is the same image julius the friends image. Yes. nothing catch my attention Up and right here the same technique stupid shit the amount of look at this edge it's not done correctly because it's hard to key this stuff because the footage is recorded wrongly you and the found car is half full <laughs> once again right here you can see the edges it's it's fucking shit <laughs> that's interesting Elizabeth mentioned that book. Julia had filled up her <laughs> car the previous day. <laughs> Look at this, right What here. a happy coincidence. Oh, it's cutting off my face. Uh, what the fuck? 
Julia had to drive up somewhere before she went to the park of the day of her. And of course, I want to have more dialogues. If I had some actors, you know, to play in this, I wanted to have normally dialogues. Like I just have conversation with someone with this maybe right here with this client or another stuff. I, I want to have some conversation. And of course, if I had some budget, I will be like, yeah, let's do a makeup to the zombies because at the end, like I said, the basic idea, I just want to fucking shoot some zombies. That's now. interesting. I just download some free 3 modes later on. Elizabeth mentioned that Julia had filled up yeah, this water is the, same stuff, the park. Whatever. I just Maybe she visited one of them before. And slider shots, zoom in, zoom out. Yes, this kind of do a little bit motion because on those kind of very bland, very weak shots, to it's nice to add maybe snow particles or whatever, or maybe to add motion. She disappeared. Maybe one of them this is like lying. Some fucking cartoon. Let's look bad. And right here, the same technique that I use in these images with these stupid notes. I just download this image for free. This is in alpha. I just move this image in Vegas from here to here or whatever from up to right here. And once again, smoke in front of me and behind me. And right here, the same image. Yes, movement. If I calculate the distance from her home to the park, I will calculate how many extra kilometers she had to travel for a man of fuel to match in the found car. And I'm gonna show you a big mistake. Basically, you can hear the noise from the microphone too. It's shit. And look at this shot, right guys. Right here, focus on this. It's cutting right here. I make another mistake right here on this image. I will this, see which friends class. live in this distance from Julia's look house. At, Wait, guys. Right here. It's cutting off right here. Two people. Wait, guys. Hmm. Look. I have it's to pay them right a visit. It's not done correctly. It should be like moving right here, but something went, went wrong in the edit, and I don't want to redo this, so let's go. Right here. It's cutting the image right here. It's not done good. I also. And basically, I reused the same footage a couple of times. You can see I just look at these notes, and this is the same footage. And I just put basically the narration as yes, stupid shit. Check how many people have gone missing this year in Nashville. And you can hear the difference in my voice because I record this in a different day because I was like tired. Let's go. And surrounding areas. I narrowed the missing compared to the previous friend from work. Frank Modifier. Frank Modifier. This is another joke from basically. <laughs> like, because this is John Blender because I work on Blender. And flank modifier because I use modifiers and blender. <laughs> Let's go, it's funny. Age 29. Okay, Maybe. look at this shot. This shot is not done correctly. And I want to point out my mistakes. Basically, look at how stops the car. Of course, the wheels are not. We Julia located. started dating him recently. But look at this. It stopped like very even. It's not done good. Look Age. At this. Okay, shut the fuck up, man. Right here. It's moving, 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 and it's. Tops. It's not done very well in my opinion. And look at this. There are buildings, but later on when the car is driving away, there are no buildings. So I make another mistake. And with this footage, of course, I want to have the dialogue with those guys, but I don't have actors, yes. And I don't. I'm not gonna put some dialogue that he's saying to me. It's it's gonna be too much, basically like lip syncing or whatever. It's not gonna be done, girl. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna narrate on this or whatever, but. To be honest, I wanted to have conversation with some, you know, guys or whatever, yes, with some people, but I don't have actors, like I said. Same technique. This is just me. And this, I used this footage a couple of times in the park, my back, and I just talking. I just used one image, yes, in the park. But I'm just talking alpha image, myself, yes, alpha footage, then alpha image of the fence, then alpha footage from this guy and you can see I of course don't stole the footage of this guy <laughs> not at all that's of course not the case of the edges you can see the edges are shit because basically I just don't love this footage and it was small this guy it was so small I just must basically I must to make him bigger and the edges is look like shit it's low quality as you can see so once again alpha image of the fence Later on, alpha Im uh, footage of this guy, and later on, add some image behind. Very frustrated. And give this he kind said of that he already look, testified like to fake. the police. Yes, it annoys me those edges because it's low quality of 
footage, of course, that I don't stole. <laughs> Frank profile, confident, married man. I play man. another time this music that I composed because yeah, I'm gonna play the music where I'm gonna read people. It's interesting. And once again, I wanted to zoom in, maybe yes, to some detail of the clothes or whatever, but it's too much. Works in office with Julia. Very aggressive tone of his voice. He treat my visit as an attack. And hmm. once again, I slow the footage. Why? Because I have like two, three seconds of this guy footage, so I must slow him down to add more narrations. Yes, to basically. He has something to hide. I told him I knew about his affair with Julia. Once again, this look fake. Okay, you can see like yeah, I am in green screen and this is not part of this stuff. And I think it's about the lighting. I should make myself a little bit darker and it's gonna fit well, but it doesn't fit well. I threaten, <laughs> if Another he don't tell me what happened that night, cut. I will reveal his affair to his wife. Frank admitted he had an affair with... Once again, the same shot I reused a couple of times. Julia, they met that <coughs> evening. He said Julia was very aggressive, she was fed up with okay, the... Shut up they crawled that evening. And I just... As you can see, doing the slider shot right here. Why? Because I have the footage of this guy back. But basically the footage was like he was dancing around. And he was moving his fucking hands. And you will even gonna see in this shot. Look at of the hands of the guy. Right here. I just zoom, doing this slider shot. Like, yeah, this is another angle of the shot. But look at the hair's hands. Because I have only the footage of this guy. Like, okay, I'm gonna reuse this. But... Look at this, I just try to cover his hand movement, it's shit. And once again the same technique, his footage, fans, my footage, and basically image. And as you can see, I just add the light effect from this plugin, yes? Frank and like I fight. said, there are no buildings right here, another mistake. And the texture of the ground is not darn correctly too, so I make another mistake. And if you're gonna focus on the fans, it's not the same fans. So I will rebuild this thing because I basically delayed the, <laughs> the file. So much mistakes I make. And this is good lesson. Seriously, this is fucking amazing lesson. Because I know what mistakes I make and what basically in the next episode I'm going to try to do better. As you can see, this is not done correctly. Of the this specific symptoms this of should be a building. As if she was sick with something. Enlarged pupils. Once again, fake lighting. You can see this is fake, yes? Using the plugin from Vegas, from Boris. This is just me. Russian, and try tired, to fucking yes. smoke. And this is basically, how to say, slow down once again. I was at the starting point. The only but thing I think that it fits. Like, it's slowing down because uh, I'm thinking right here. So it's like, okay, it's not that bad. But I slowing down the footages because... I had a couple of seconds of the footage, basically I just slow it down to basically add more time. Puzzles me, <laughs> was why Julia went to this park and who did she go out with there? All of a sudden, I got revelation. I remembered the, same footage I reused, the pills of laying on the shelf in Julia's the room. Shelf. I called Elizabeth and it turned out that... And two I just download this bitch, of course, footage. Why? Because she was talking on the phone and I knew like I'm, I'm going to talk on the phone too. And once again, I'm just talking some bullshit stuff. I first record the footages and it's not done correctly in my opinion. It should be like, yeah, I can re record some footages like, I don't know, shooting the gun or whatever. Because, yeah, this is done. But the dialogues should be like, I just, you know, talk the dialogue. But first you must write the dialogue. But this is another mistake that I make. So it's like shit. Before her disappearance. Hmm. And you can see the low quality of the footage because once again she was small on the fucking file so I must have make her bigger and once again the same technique of course image in front then her footage behind her and basically as you can see the edges is not done correctly because it's low quality of her, her footage. Again, com she see, compared to my footage, my footage looks a little bit better than her. So it's like, yeah, and immediately the doctor prescribed something for her to sleep. Okay, he went to the capital. This is, I think, one of the worst shots. As you can see, right here, this is another mistake. The boot is cutting right here. I don't know why I make some mistake. And right here, you can see the edge of green screen because the footage is 
reuse basically from the previous years. This is the same footage that I basically checking out this stupid book uh, with notes <laughs> basically on guitar. And right here I just add some light to add a little bit like focus on this, focus on this, not on this fucking mistakes, but you can see this is fake. For an important shit. meeting in a hit patrol in a corporation when he works. As you can see, the I decided to explore like, the topic of good. Dr. James Simmons and more. Okay, shut up, man. And right here it's I parked not far away. This is worse shot too. This is as you can see in Blender, yes? I just build this very fast, like bam, plane. Uh, now I don't even apply some material, I think. I just add some trees right here and some stupid building for free and add some planes right here and it's like yeah whatever i just place in the camera and the lighting on this is shit because i just rendered this in the lowest quality way from see, dr the lighting, house as you can see you can see those kind of bumps it's like come on it's so shit okay the deeps of the forest live in the car i heard this is interesting stuff and i think it's cool to explain i just walk in in the place and you can see this okay and once again i cut my head why? Because the footage wasn't recorded correctly and I have some stupid lines. It's This is the most mistake that I make, the big mistake, okay? I record myself with shadow on my green screen and it's like, shit, it's, it's hard to keep this. So look at this. I'm just walking in place and I just move in the image behind me to make it smaller. It's cool technique and I just place in the image on this side or whatever, yes? To add the motion to the stuff but basically i'm just walking in place uh on my green screen yes i just walking in place and i just move in the image so this is interesting technique it's it's good technique in my opinion to create this kind of illusion of walking yes of course in zero budget stuff yes and another stuff image my footage once again behind myself and this is i think cool shot i rendered this in blender like very shadowy like okay this is the shadow of course you can see this is not the same place because i built those places in different days and it's like not fits to each other and i can't find basically the file <laughs> later on as well like okay whatever i'm gonna do this but it's not gonna be like it, it's yet okay i make mistake after mistake this is cool shot i think too this is just me you can see the reflection of me and it's I think it's something in this shot like yeah this look like some kind of horror low budget <laughs> of course i am the best director ever i give myself two out of ten okay because i think the script is yeah it's working like okay this is the story it's make a little bit sense i just meet up with this guy then meet this guy and later on i just shoot some zombies okay the script is makes sense and i basically visual the script that i want so I give myself two points, two out of fucking ten. <laughs> I can do better. But as you can see, I think this is one of the best shots in this stupid shit. Yeah, you can see it's it's like horror -y. You can see the edge once again, shit stuff. And I just put up the toy gun, whatever. And I don't know why I'm moving her <laughs> this head, whatever. Once again, the edges of my footage is not done correctly. And I just download this music, of course. And I'm gonna point out here, right here. Hear the sound effect. I just download this stupid sound effect from YouTube for free. It's about spider, yes? Like, oh, I'm gonna shoot this stupid spider. Yes, right here. The same sound effect and later on when the spider comes in, the same sound effect. So I think this sound effect, placing the sound effects and the music, I think, I think it's done correctly, like, not very well i'm gonna show you another mistake but it's like makes sense basically yes like okay i just came into the building and the spider is just making noise later on and you don't know basically about the spider yes right here so it's like you don't know what is gonna happen of course i'm gonna shoot some fucking zombies because this is the whole point but and once again you don't know what this noise is yes so i think it's done like okay correctly basically to place the sound effects like you can see the edge is not down good right here the edge too and look at this model is look like fucking shit like my life let's go it's so bad 
Why? Because I download this from Maximo 3D, this site for free, and I just download this animation like zombie screaming. Let's go. And if I had budget, basically, I, I will be like, okay, I want to buy some 3D model, yes. Uh, some good 3D model, but zero budget, let's go. And once again, I just place, build this scene and record. And right here, you can see, I just place this image. This is just image of the glass that I render in Blender. And I just put this angle and I just place right here to, it doesn't fit the wall, I think, but it is what it is, whatever. The sound effects, I think, were great. Free from YouTube, of course, yes, from zombies. It's, it's yes, and right here, this is another mistake. I want to point out this. Look at the zombies, how it's moving. Where is the zombie? Look. Fake zombie, let's go. Zombie looked like fucking shit. Like 1 out of 10, 0 out of 10. Look at this. He's right here, and when he gonna run... You're gonna jump in right here so it's not done correctly too. I just make mistake basically placing the zombie right here. Bam! You can see? The sound effects, I'm just placing uh, later the sound effects of the gun. Here. Here, the second and third shot, it's too late basically, so it's like whatever. Of course, free from YouTube, this uh, sh shots, yes? And right here when the zombie is... Okay, shut up, man. <laughs> right here. Uh, and I just add some blood particles for free, of course, yes, on this footage. And I just animate download from Maxima 3D, yes, like zombie dying. You can see the blood here, yes, look like a oh, And once again, the same technique, put in image behind me I just walk in and this is the worst shot on this whole stuff why because I make mistake I was like working very fast whatever it is what it is look at this this is just one image and it's in front of me then I put myself and then behind this image and look at those images right here should be this fucking right here the bed but you can't see the bed because this image is first you get the idea it's mistake i just make fucking mistake like i should be render this separate this bed and basically put in this fucking stuff it's like and i think the size of the zombie and of the size of this fucking is not done correctly too this is the worst shot because you can see basically the mistakes that i make right here you can t you can see the bed. It's like, come on, right here should be the bed, but I make mistake. <laughs> Zombie are used to And I I just reuse this footage and flip myself in 180 degrees. Basically, I just put in once again the same technique myself in a green screen, key the green screen, then put the image okay of the glass and later on i just render this footage while like r zombies are screaming why because i don't want to basically zoom in to the zombies because the models look like shit oh, of course so i just put some glass to don't see the zombie because they look like shit if i had a budget of course guys i will be like building sets and <laughs> Making people basically make up to look better, yes, to look like real zombies from movies, not like this stupid video game from 2000. <laughs> yes. And of course, some sound effects. And you can even see right here the edit is not on the Right here, this kind of cut. Yes, it's so messed up. I just walk in, whatever. And this is shot rendering in blender basically as you can see i'm in 3d uh, space yes, right here just moving through. and right here i don't know about this shot this shot looks like shit i think something about the lighting of myself because i don't put some light i don't use this plugin and i should i should darken myself or maybe put a little bit right here the light to match up basically the background because you can see i just i'm so I am too basically on light 
right here because you can see the shadows yes right here but the light i put the shadow right here it looked like shit for me <laughs> I think this shot is good too because I render this in Blender and I add later on these shots, yes, green screen for free from YouTube. Basically, look at this shot. I place myself once again in 3D space in Blender, yes, so it's good. And the camera is moving right here, right here. I just animate the camera. Look at this, wait, guys, right here, yes. The zombie is dying, the camera is moving back, the zombie is dying, the same animation as shit. And right here, the zombie is right here. And I just zoom in to this. Why? Because right here my footage is finished. And I have just one pose right here. So I just zoom in to this focus on right here. This is another cover of mistake. But basically what I wanted to do right here it will be better to add some blood particles. But once again my PC is shit from the zombies. Like you just shoot those fucking... Of course the models look like shit. Like from game from 90s. But shoot this and the blood just spills out it will be better but i don't add the particles of blood but uh, that's <laughs> the same animation bam, and zoom in because my i just stuck right here and another mistake i don't put some sound effects right here of zombies and i should You can hear just gun, not zombie. You should be hearing some, you know, zombie dying or whatever, yes? Like, ah, zombie, ah, don't kill me. <laughs> you get the idea about some screams of zombies, but I don't put sound effects. It's like, okay, whatever. Another mistake. And I should split some blood. It will be better. And look at this. This looks like from fucking 80s. I know, but I use this. Because I was searching, you know, from zombie uh, animation and I found this for free, already animated. So I was like, okay, give me this. I'm going to reuse this. I'm going to shoot some fucking spider. Let's go. And basically, I just darkened this model up in Vegas, yes? Add more contrast to this fucking footage. Why? Because I just put, of course, this model, animated model, because I had, like I said, already with animation just download this 3d model and basically uh, i just rendered this in alpha yes and put right here some image of the floor yes that i render in blender of course the same technique and i darker this to don't see basically the detail of the spider because it looks like fucking shit and i just add the same fucking how to say the same <coughs> sound effect so it's match up yes like in the previous and I, I want to point out right here, wait guys. Of course it will be better to reuse some good 3D models, but zero budget, let's go. Yes. Slow motion and you can see right through the darker areas because it's hard to key in the stuff. Mistake. And right here when this spider is moving, basically the animation is moving in space, but I just make him bigger. So it's give the illusion like he's moving, but you can see it's fake. Look at this. I'm gonna show you. Shut up. Right here, I just make him bigger and bigger and bigger. It's not moving in this place. I just make him bigger. So it's like to give illusion of movement and it's not down big to me. Cause the animation was, he was walking in place basically. So I just make him bigger and bigger and I just shoot him, let's go. And I just rendered this animation because, like I said, it came out with some different animations. So I, yeah, let's render this. And it's rendering doesn't take forever. It takes like, I don't know, 15 minutes. And once again, I'm just walking in place. And I put the music, of course, to give this sense like, okay, uh, it's end, yes. And it's a little bit creepy. But I think it will be better to add some lighting once again on my stuff but i have just one light uh, whatever and look at this i just walking in place and it's give the emotion uh, illusion of the movement because i just placing this image and moving in this direction look at this 
I'm just working in place and I'm just moving this image in this direction and it's done, not done rightly. Look at this, because it's, I'm moving too slow. I'm moving too fast, I'm sorry. And the image is not moving. You can see, it's like I'm taking some baby steps. <laughs> Let's go, so it's yet. Yes, I should be animating this image faster, basically more space to the steps, but it is what it is. And it will be better, like I said, to add some shadow on this, on my stupid face. That more detail looks like fake. This is cool shot. This is very simple shot, but it's cool in my opinion. One of the best. Basically, smoke, myself and behind the smoke. Yes, three stuff once again the same technique but okay i wanna you know don't wanna smoke and later i'm gonna smoke okay let's go and basically i don't know if it will be better to zoom in to this fucking uh, but whatever and to be honest it will be better to add some smoke from my fucking mouth but it is what it is i think this is one of the best shot on this stupid shit and once again the same footage i just walk in in the back couple of shots a couple of steps basically because i don't have place on the green screen and i put of course the sound effects yes the police is arriving that was only a beginning Bam, and, it's it. and i think this shot is cool why because i download this for free on youtube it's like bullet you just tap green screen bullet in youtube and you have this shot but I just keen this, put myself and look at the expression of myself. I think this is one of the best shots. The beginning. Because look at the expression is changing. Right here you can see it's changing the the expression of my face. So it's not like just one image. It's like three or four images. I just make it slower. And the shot basically is like the bullet is came right here and the camera is tilted. So I just figure out like, okay, I'm gonna put myself and move on this direction and give this kind of sense of 3D space that I'm right here with this bullet. But I am of course in my green screen. So it's cool technique too. It's basically the same technique uh, right here that I am walking in place. I just move in myself in this direction and camera is tilting in this direction. Look at this. Camera is tilted in this direction. I just move in myself right here. And I put some blood effect, of course, yes. This is, of course, the end credits, whatever. And I just reuse this. It's for free, of course. Once again, the same technique. I just add this guy and I just animate his placement right here to match up the basically the camera tilting on this footage that I download from YouTube. I hope you know what I'm talking about. And of course, this zombie looks like shit because it's for free. Right here and right here, the same technique. I just move on this guy and I just put the blood right here. Yes. Bam, let's go. And I just add some different kind of effect right here with the blood. Of course, it's for free from YouTube. And I just reuse the same footages and I just add another different color correction. This shot would be better with the movement of the fucking and with the detail of the car of the fucking buildings, but it is what it is. And to be honest, I forgot to add this shot. Wait, yes, this shot. I forgot. Oh, I had this shot, you know, rendering. My car is driving. I forgot to add this in the this whole episode so i was like okay i'm gonna add this in the end uh, credits and once again the same technique i just render my car is not rotating the wheels this car is not rotating the wheels i just animate the placement right here from this to this to this to this and put some 3d buildings of course uh, for free and add sky behind this this is the shot so i use always this technique and i'm gonna use this technique basically in the next episode too because to be honest, it will be better to build some 3D scenes and put my green screen footage in this. But I have bullshit PC and if you have bullshit PC, the rendering takes forever, okay? And I just want to make those episodes very fast, to be honest. Like, 
Yeah, I I render I record myself in one day and I just create those sets like in I don't know two three days and let's go and I just put some sound effects. Get the idea. I don't want to work basically too much and I have different kind of footage just walking around and it's not fit up in the buildings. So I just use this on the end credits. Basically, the placement of the window is not correct. So okay, I'm gonna reuse right here, and it's end like without notice it's so stupid and of course the color gradient is not great too i just use some free loots that i download on the internet so it's like yeah it doesn't look great okay i think this shot like i said a couple of shots are great but i make so much mistake in this and this is very good lesson okay for me and the idea is if you're gonna create something you're gonna have those lessons like where are you gonna put the music where are you gonna put the sound effects, okay? I give myself two points. One point, like I said, the script have make sense, okay? Like, okay, I just, this uh, woman is disappeared. I just make contact with her sister. Then I figure out she had this guy that she was meeting. Later on, I figure out she was sick and the doctor, her doctor basically just turned her into a zombie or whatever. The story makes sense. It does make sense, yes? It's a simple story. Bullshit dialogue, I think. I write bullshit stuff. I, I am not a fucking writer. And I write this very fast. I have excuses. But basically, the CGI is bad. Very bad. But I give myself, like I said, two points. Because the placement of the song, of the fucking music, is great, I think. It's good. It's I'm not over, basically, place the music. And... It's very easy to say something like this, but it's hard to decide where are you gonna put the music. Maybe right here when the tri the car is driving, or maybe right here where I'm talking to stuff. You know, it's you have those decisions, and it's hard to figure out. But I think the more, of course, you're gonna create, the better you're gonna are. But I give myself, yeah, the placement of the sound effects. I make a couple of mistakes with the gun, but it is what it is. Of course, the models looks like shit. I create a couple of good shots. I think this shot when I'm smoking is great. And when I'm talking on the phone right here, it's good too. And some driving cars are good too, or whatever. So, two points, two out of 10. Okay, I can do better, of course, guys. But it's hard, it's hard. If you don't have actors, it's hard to write some story, you know, about something. And if you're gonna dole out some, if, footages is much it's much it must match up your story if that makes sense yes so it's hard to basically without actors you are just yourself writing a script doing everything and it's hard so i give like like i said two points i make so much mistakes in this one and the big lesson this technique works put an image then myself and another image good technique or maybe I want to try it out, of course, in the next episode, putting footage, maybe some smoke right here in 3D scene or whatever. Yes, putting some different footage behind me and maybe in front of me. This is going to give different kind of vibe. So I'm going to try in the next episode. But like I said, uh, this technique works in zero budget uh, with bullshit PC, but it will be better to render this stuff in 3D space. But... It is what it is. I want to break it down for you, my mistakes, and basically the reaction of this is like, yeah, two out of ten, shit, I create some stupid shit. And like I said, the basic idea was like, I want to fucking shoot some zombies. And I was inspired, I always love those kind of Sherlock Holmes games. So, of course, it would be better to basically have some equipment, like, I don't know, some microscopes or whatever. And I'm just looking on some microscopes in the next episode. It would be great. Maybe I'm gonna try to figure out this stuff like. Because I wanna basically stole the ideas from Sherlock Holmes games. Like you just have some and you just analyze some props or whatever, yes, and you just figure out the people. It's cool. And like I said, it will be better to basically zoom in to some characters, zoom in to some basically right here to some footage and add the detail like oh. This is the basically mark of the ring or whatever. You get the idea like from Sherlock Holmes series and games, but I just uh, created this. It's shit. It's fucking shit, okay? 
It's fucking shit. I know. But it is what it is. Thank you for watching this video. I just want to break it down for you. I create a fucking mess. But I'm going to be better next time. I'm going to try. I'm going to once again. Uh, of course play the best detective ever. But. And shoot some fucking monsters. Spoilers. But. I'm going to try to. Add more footage from free. Okay. From green screen. Uh, from people. Because. I don't have actors. I don't have actors to talk to, if that makes sense. So I don't know how I'm going to figure out this. I'm going to try to figure out in the next episode to create better stuff. And I have my lesson. Render, record yourself without fucking shadows on green screen. Thank you for watching this stupid video. If you watch this, you are my hero. See you on another one. Bye, guys.